coming to Nigeria, it was all about the sport of breakdancing in Lagos over the weekend. The road to the national finals of the National Breakdance Championship has been mapped out as nine breakdancers have danced their way to the grand finale slated for November of this year. The final stage of the qualifiers rounded off in Lagos produced nine breakdancers, four females and five males, who will join 23 other finalists from Abuja, Port Harcourt, Kano and Kaduna for the finals in a couple of months. The breakdance competition an initiative of FAME Foundation in conjunction with the French Embassy in Nigeria is aimed at empowering Nigerian youths through the sports of break dancing. I, I feel like if I'm dancing, I could inspire people because when I also saw someone dance before, I also got inspired. So I feel if a lot of them out there, a lot of girls out there, see me dance, they could also get inspired in a way too. So I can. I could influence them in a way like that. Also, breakdance is now a sport in the Olympics. And next year, it's going to be featured for the first time ever at the Paris Olympics. And what we're doing here today is to, um, you know, create awareness for breakdance, that it's now a sport, and also to use it to reach out to the youth, to include, you know, as you can see around, some of the youth are campaigning against social vices like rape, thuggery, Yahoo, Yahoo, you know, uh, courtism and all of that. And um, like we are doing in Lagos today, we also, we've done that in other states. And so far we have reached more than 4,000 youths to, you know, empower them, to mentor them at the same time. Um, this program we are being done by Fame Foundation in conjunction with the French Embassy in Nigeria. They are funding it. Meanwhile, two winners from the grand finale will represent Nigeria at an international breakdance championship in France with other consolation prizes for the runner-up. Recall that breakdancing is a new sport accredited for competition in the Olympics and experts have stressed the need to embrace it and create the awareness in Nigeria that dancing is now an Olympic sport.